The following is just for educational purposes only and should not be construed as legal advice. If you need legal advice, please consult your own attorney. Hi, I'm Matt O'Connor from Strategic Lawyers Group here to talk to you about how to act when you are on trial. You've seen a lot of trials on TV. It's not like that. There's no commercial interruptions. There's no boom, boom after somebody nails somebody on cross or a question, whatever. The main thing to keep in mind is be respectful. When you are asking the system, the legal system, to be the justice system, you have to show respect. So when the judge walks in, you shouldn't have to be asked to all rise. We should all rise. When the jury walks in or out, same thing. You stand up. You know, when you address the court, if you're asked to address the court, you don't blurt out things. That's why you call lawyers mouthpieces. We do the talking for you. You don't spoke until spoken to until your lawyer says it's okay. Don't react. There's going to be good parts and bad parts, just like in a football game, not to mention that, but, you know, there's going to be, the, the score may change. What matters is what the jury is seeing and how the pieces of the puzzle that you're putting together in trial come together for the closing argument, ultimately jury deliberation. So um, just remember, be respectful. Dress like you're going to, to, like to church. You know, wear a suit and tie. Family members, realize the jury's probably going to connect who's connected to who, and they'll be watching you too. So again, be cool, calm, and collective. And you have nothing to fear if you show respect and are respectful to the process. If you have to take the stand or you choose to take the stand, remember, take a moment when you first get up there to get comfortable. You know, put your hands on each knee, lean forward a little bit. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. <laughs> Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. And don't bring your Alexa app, whatever you do, because that, that's the worst thing. So just remember, the best thing to do is things like that happen. And how you react to them, you just got to go, well, you know. I, once, I remember a trial. It was the judge's first trial, and this guy just walked in out of nowhere. We're in the middle of trial. And this judge was very cool about it. He just walked right up to the bench. You know, and I'm a lawyer. been doing At that point, 20 years now, 25, I'm going, what the heck? The judge just goes, hang on a second, how can I help you, sir? And handle it very well. That's what you have to do. And when you're testifying, remember the court reporter is taking down everything you say, so don't speak over the other person. That's also important. You want to give yourself a second to think about the answer before you give it. You don't have to sit up there and give a long pause, but you might want to give your lawyer a chance to object if the question is improper. And listen to your lawyer. You don't be, you, know, you, can, you can write notes, but don't be feverishly writing notes. <laughs> There's a reason you hired your lawyer. You've got to work as a team. Um, and hopefully the, the two of you, or the, if you have more than one lawyer, you have combined your efforts before so you know what to expect when it's coming. The main thing is, just remember, you know what the truth is. You know what the facts are. How you relate them is not only by the words that you speak, but your body language. So you need to be consistent with that. And when you feel like if you're on the stand, the person's going too fast on cross-examination or you don't understand the question, guess what? Say, I don't understand that question. Can you ask it again or rephrase it? And don't let them dictate or make you say something just because you think that that's the right thing to do in the chess game. They'll walk you right into a trap. You remember what's true. If something will refresh your recollection, ask to see it. So, you know, it's been a long time. Can I see my statement? Or can I look at a ham sandwich? If that relaxes refreshes your recollection, that that can help. You can use a ham sandwich to refresh your recollection. No kidding. Um, and then if it's comfortable, you can look at the jury. Don't be afraid to make eye contact. Now, you'll see a lot of experts that do this. When they testify, you know, I'll ask them about their credentials or something. So you went to the university, blah, blah, blah. They go, yes, I went to the university, blah, blah, blah. They constantly look over. I think that's canned. I think it should be very natural and very real. The more real you are, the more earnest you are, the more the jury gets that impression. And that's really what we're there to do, is just prove the truth. There's no trickery involved, no smoke and mirrors. It's about presenting a consistent factual and physically factual and emotive defense, or if you're on the prosecution, the same consistent things. Just keep that in mind. Don't overreact or react to things, you know? Things are going to be good and bad. You've got to make sure you're calm, cool, and collected. Just keep your composure. And the, the most important thing you can do is remember, when you're asking the justice system to be the justice system, not just the legal system, you have to give respect to it in order to get it back from the system. Thanks for watching.